Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we have Fedora Linux with KDE. I know this is one which a lot of you guys prefer, maybe even more than the GNOME version. I see a lot of uh, back and forth, for a lack of a better term, in the comment section. So without further delay, let's dive right in. All right, welcome to Fedora Linux. This is what we get when we first boot up Fedora Linux. We can install it to hard drive now. The GNOME version got a totally new Anaconda UI, but let's see what this has. So welcome to Fedora. It's running Plasma, which is pretty good. Fedora loves KDE Plasma, beautiful little logo. Simple by default, it's designed to be simple and usable out of the box. Things are where you would expect. So you can see pretty much panel at the bottom. And oh, I love this one. They explain what different things are, and this is the task manager widget. You can switch between open apps and launch new ones. This is the uh, kickoff widget, so that's what you call the start menu here. And this is a really good introduction. That's really awesome. And then powerful when needed. This is the power of KDE Plasma. It can be simple when you look at it at first glance, but under the hood, man, you have a ton of things. And it's customizable like to the infinite power you can do whatever you want with kitty plasma it really is that powerful sometimes it can get a little bit overwhelming but uh, if you don't dive into the weeds i think uh it's beautiful and it can be your everyday user uh i mean your everyday user experience is going to be fantastic with kitty plasma so you have your overview k runner you can search for anything kitty connect you connect with your phone get notifications calls send files uh, back and forth all that good stuff activities vaults to store files securely and configure the system with system settings you also have discover which is i think you all know this but if you are new to fedora let me know down in the comments uh fedora kitty if you're looking to install this as your first linux operating system uh, you're not going to be disappointed it's pretty great so discover has plenty of apps like i said and you can also enable third-party repositories which is really important i say that you should do this uh whenever you are logging in for the first time and then finish so let's just try to install it to hard drive i'm not going to install let's just see uh, I really don't think that they have the new installer in the KDE version. I'm not sure if it's going to be available uh, in the final version because this is a beta right now. But if you think it is going to be, do let me know down in the comments. Now, as you can see, this is the older version. Okay, so we go with English, then continue. Uh, I want to proceed. This is pre-release software that's completely fine. Automatic uh, partitioning has been selected and it's selected by default. So a lot of people make the mistake of clicking it for once and then the, it gets unselected. Root account, disable root account, it's fine. Uh, network and host name user will be created. You can create your own user. Uh, let's just give a very small, simple something. We're not gonna install, by the way, it's just to show you guys, if you are new to uh, Fedora, then you can say done over here. And after experiencing the new installer, by the way, I can confidently say that that experience is a little bit better. Although I'm not really sure where you can go to uh, customize your partitioning, cause uh, over here you can add a disc and stuff. You have a lot of things, but I believe that is not finished yet like you can go to custom storage configuration and uh, you can do a lot of stuff but on right now it's automatic and this is the 20 gig partition so yeah i have a lot of hope for the new installer so you can begin installation we're not going to do that we're just going to go ahead quit the process and we're going to continue on with the video all right so welcome to fedora linux 42 and this is 42 as we all know a very important number i mentioned this as a joke and some of you guys knew what this was uh it's it's the hitchhiker's guide to the galaxy 42 being the best number in the entire universe we all know that if you don't know the book uh the hitchhiker's guide to galaxy give it a read it's a it's a fantastic book if you're into comedy and fictional stuff and science fiction at the same time so it's pretty good anyway Continuing on with the tour, this is the desktop, new wallpaper and all that good stuff. The panel at the bottom, it's kind of floating. As you can see, it's not really touching the corners. And to the left, you have the kickoff button or the start menu button. Uh, this is a live system because I haven't installed it and it's in a virtual machine. I know how you guys feel about it, I'm sorry. 
Uh, this is my only computer, so that's kind of the only way I have to go about this. So you get all applications, development, education, games, uh, graphics. Uh, they don't overwhelm you with a lot of apps, but still you get a healthy amount of app selection out of the box and anything that you don't really have, you can always go to uh, Discover, which is your uh, software center and you can install. Another thing that I like, I mentioned this in uh, like all of my KDE Plasma videos is that they do mention what an app does. So create and edit drawings, flowcharts, and logos for LibreOffice Draw. And then for Impress, this is like PowerPoint. So create and edit presentations and slideshows, meetings, and other stuff. They do mention, uh, I like these small descriptions that are so helpful. Ocular, you're not gonna know what Ocular is, but if you read that this is a universal document viewer, you're gonna understand that, okay, this is a PDF reader of some sort. Gwen view, again, image viewer pretty good uh pretty good system so you do get applications you get places as well so these are these are your folders history frequently used you can have you can go sleep restart shut down or everything is neatly packed inside leave which is lock log out and switch user pretty good so you do get pinned apps at the bottom so this is uh, system settings, uh, discover software center, dolphin, which is the file manager. We're gonna go show these one by one. This is Firefox, the browser that comes out of the box. And you can see this is uh, like, I have a list of what's new in the beta. We're gonna go through it in just a few minutes. Uh, this is what the thumbnail preview shows up and you have volume, brightness. Uh, this is disks and devices, internet connection, and other stuff. This is the calendar and show desktop button. So uh, before jumping into any other stuff, I'm just gonna show you something really cool is that you have a ton of configuration options. You can configure icons only task manager. You can go to show alternatives. You can click on an alternative. You can see icon and text icons only or a window list. That is pretty awesome. You can show panel configuration see what it does this is absolutely beautiful so you can change the panel height focus shortcut i mean if you click you can just input something and then it would take it uh you can set the position uh from the four corners you can change the alignment left center right you can have it to fill width fill content custom uh then you can change the visibility to auto hide dodge windows windows go below opacity you can change it to adaptive or opaque or translucent i think adaptive is pretty good because it's going to stay uh translucent when it's like this but when you have uh, any window that's maximized or any window that's kind of coming over it, then it's going to be uh, opaque. So that's pretty good. Style is floating right now. As you can see, if you change it, uh, it's going to go back to being a normal uh, panel, which is not floating, I guess. And floating looks better. I'm going to keep that panel height 44 is perfect for my 1080p monitor and you can clone panel, you can delete panel or you can exit the panel edit mode. You can also add or manage widgets. So that's pretty good. You can see over here, uh, this is the widget screen. Apologize for the uh, lagging animations. This is inside a virtual machine if you didn't know and that causes animations to be a little bit slow because this is software rendering. Uh, these are not actually rendered by uh, any hardware, it's just getting emulated. So, but if you are installing this on bare metal, uh, all of the animations are gonna be buttery smooth with KDE, I'm pretty sure. So you have activity bar, analog clock, application menu, Bluetooth, binary clock. That's pretty interesting. Audio volume, tons and tons of widgets that you can just uh, go through and you can just have widgets to your heart's content. These are amazing as you can see. Okay, so I think we're going to exit the edit mode and we're just gonna go back to the desktop as it was and let's continue on with the tour. So let's just talk about what's new in the Fedora Linux 42 beta. So Fedora is right now running on 6.14 kernel. That's pretty good. They have updated Python setup tools. So uh, this enhances Python standard library distutals. There is also a DNF5 improvement that includes new logic that will remove expired and obsolete repository keys from the system. That is excellent. You have updated Ruby. This is 3.4 with the latest stable version of Ruby. And uh, so this makes Fedora the superior Ruby development platform pretty good. We also have introduced the SDL3 transition and Wayland by default for SDL apps included 
and included the new GNOME Wellbeing feature. This is in the GNOME edition, by the way. Uh, I tested out the beta a few days ago and it wasn't available, but once uh, the final release rolls around, you can expect Digital Wellbeing or GNOME Wellbeing to be a part of uh, the operating system. But right now we are in KDE land, so let's talk about it. All right, uh, let's go to, I think we're gonna go to system settings, discover, and the file explorer. So uh, this is Dolphin, and as you can see, once anything is opening up, it shows a little icon. And okay, discover, we can check that later. Home Dolphin, so this is Dolphin, if you didn't know. This is the very functional and very powerful file manager. I think a lot of you guys know about it. Uh, documents, trash, videos, everything over there. And you get network, recent files, recent locations, and removable devices. Pretty good, you can change uh, how you like to see the icons, you have split view, you have uh, lots of options over here. It's very, uh, I wouldn't say complicated, it's very flushed out, very matured uh, file manager, and I really like this. So let's go to discover, and there was an update issue, we're not gonna worry about that. So this, you can see updates are inside discover, so you can go to updates tab, and you can just perform updates. And by the way, uh, if you lose your cursor, you can just do this, and then your cursor magnifies. That's something which is pretty good. I experienced this in macOS, I didn't know this was a part of KDE Plasma as well. That's pretty good to see. So you have home, most popular apps uh, installed. You can go to settings, so you can choose your repositories if you know about this stuff. If you don't know, don't sweat it. But as you can see, since we enable third-party repositories, we do have RPM Fusion 4, Fedora 42. We have the non-free NVIDIA drivers as well, provided you do have NVIDIA card in your system. As you can see, this is Discover 6.3.2. And then again, you have all the categories that we saw in the kickoff section. So this mimics that and you can get apps for all of your categories that you want in here. That's pretty good. Let's move on to the system settings. This is the uh, most in-depth part. This is the most uh, mature part. I wouldn't say, how, how do I say this properly? This is the part of KDE Plasma that contains everything. Like this is the brain, okay? I'm not gonna go through it in its entirety because it's gonna take a whole day, but again, you can see quick settings over here. This is the first page. Uh, you have wallpaper, global themes. So right now this is set to breeze. You can have the animation speed uh, fast. Maybe you can make it faster, you can make it slower. And uh, for behavior settings, you can go to these and you also get most, pa most used pages over here. On the left, you do get neatly categorized options, so input and output, connected devices, networking, appearance and style, default applications uh, for Windows and apps, a workspace, a screen and security, a language and time, and system. So if I go to about the system, and you can also update software, by the way, from here, you can see Fedora Linux 42. We are running on 6.14 Linux kernel, and this is KDE Plasma version 6.3.2, where all the bugs are squashed out, most of the bugs are squashed out, and this is going to be a pretty fine and pretty solid experience. So, I mean, you guys know about all this stuff, mouse and touchpad, keyboard. I'm not gonna go through all of these. Uh, some of the things that I do like to go through is display and monitor. As you can see, one of the very I think, I'm not sure if any other distro does this. Uh, if, it, if they do, do let me know down in the comments. But you actually get fractional scaling in small increments. So 105, 110, 115, 120. This is incredibly helpful to have fractional scaling done at so small increments. All right, I mean, before we had 100 and 200%, no fractional scaling, and now in GNOME we have something like uh, 100 to 125%. But 125% is a, is a bit bigger on my 1080p 16-inch uh, screen, so I can't do that, and sometimes 100% seems a little too small. So if I had like 105 to 110%, that would be really good, but I don't have that on GNOME, I have it on here, so that's excellent. You have color profiles, refresh rate, orientation, uh, color accuracy, you can set it to color prefer efficiency or prefer color accuracy, and for legacy applications to uh, allow them to scale by themselves or to be scaled by the system. Accessibility is one of the tabs that I really like to visit because it has a lot of things for a lot of people and people who don't even need accessibility specifically would uh, benefit from these settings 
like you have a system audible bell, modifier key, sticky keys, keyboard filters, mouse navigation. And by the way, shake cursor is available in here. So you can change it to large and you can see if you do shake the cursor, it turns bigger. I think this is a feature which is useful for a lot of people. Uh, let's just go over to appearance and style because this is my favorite section. And as you can see, we do have a lot of wallpapers in here. I'm not sure if there are any new ones, but I really like most of them. So cold ripple. Wow, that's that's awesome. It's giving me Silent Hill vibes and I really like this. Darkest hour. Dude, that is amazing. One of the most difficult parts of making a Linux video is choosing uh, what wallpaper I'm using to make the thumbnail because that makes or breaks the video. Not totally, but to some degree, it definitely does. Okay, let's uh, let's move on to colors and themes. So we do get Breeze, Breeze Dark, uh, Fedora. This is Fedora, which is a combination of Breeze and Breeze Dark. So it's kind of like Breeze Twilight, I guess, where the menu and stuff is black and the windows are uh, not black in dark mode and the windows are in light mode. So that's, that's pretty good. You can go to completely dark and desktop and window layout, everything you can change. And wow, so this is pure breeze. This is pure kitty plasma. Uh, none of the Fedora logos are there. This is entirely, entirely uh, breeze. All right, choose what to apply. Apply again, I'm gonna go back to Fedora. And now you also get colors. So you can change colors from here. Uh, let's choose purple, I like that. And breeze dark, breeze light, breeze classic, night light. Uh, application style, plasma style. Like I said, you get tons of customizability in Breeze and uh, you could spend days messing around in settings. And if you are interested, you're never gonna leave this settings window probably in ever. Uh, yeah, okay, I think we are kind of done. I mean, we could go on for days and days, but uh, yeah, I mean, this is it. This is Fedora. I think the video's all gone or long enough already. This is all about Fedora Linux 42 KDE Plasma Edition. It's pretty good. As you can see, I really, really love KDE Plasma. And uh, it's this is one of my favorites. I mean, I like GNOME as well. I like this as well. I don't, I don't need to uh, fight to, or I don't need to pick one over the other. I guess I like GNOME for different reasons. I like KDE Plasma for different reasons. And uh, given the opportunity, I would just use both. If I had to stick to one though, that's another question. And I don't think I'm gonna be able to answer that because uh, people change, preferences change, and desktop UIs do evolve over time. Anyway, with that, we come to the end of the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. It's already very late in the night. I'm gonna have to say good night for now. Thank you for watching. If you stuck till the end, let me know down in the comments. It's gonna be massive. Uh, and thank you. I'm gonna catch you in the next one. Peace.